Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to learn how to find the moment about a given axis. So here we have the X, Y, and Z coordinate system. We have an arbitrary axis indicated by O to L. So O is the origin where X, Y, and Z crosses, and L is just some arbitrary direction. And lambda with the arrow on top, it's the unit vector in the direction of that arbitrary axis. So let's say that a force acts about a point. Let's call it the point A right here. And that point A can be found at a distance R away from the origin and the force acts in some arbitrary direction. We could then say that the moment about the origin, which is going to be a vector quantity, is going to be equal to the cross product or vector product of the position vector and the force acting at that particular spot. Now, we don't want to find the moment about point O, we want to find the moment about the axis from O to L. So how do you find that? Well, it turns out that is equal to the following. So the moment about the axis from O to L is equal. And notice it's no longer a vector quantity, it's going to be a magnitude. We're finding the magnitude of that, and that is going to be equal to the position, not the position vector, but the unit vector along the direction of that axis with the dot product times the moment about the origin, like this. So it's actually a dot product quantity, so we get a scalar quantity out of that. And so this can then be written as the dot product of the unit vector along the axis of interest with the r cross f. And then we remember learning about how we calculate that. We calculate that by saying this is equal to the matrix quantity defined by lambda in the x direction, lambda in the y direction, lambda in the z direction. With other words, these are really the direction cosines, alpha, beta, gamma, the way I wrote it out here, the direction cosines of the unit vector times, that would be r in the x direction, r in the y direction, r in the z direction, and the force component in the x direction, the force component in the y direction, and the force component in the z direction. That will give us the moment about any arbitrary axis. As long as we have the direction of that axis using the unit vector, and notice also that the axis goes through the origin. That is why we can do that. Later on we'll do a case where the axis is not through the origin, and then of course we'll have to do it slightly differently. But this is the magnitude of the moment about the arbitrary axis going through the origin. Lambda is the unit vector in the direction. And another way of writing lambda would be like this. Lambda can be written as alpha i, alpha beta j, gamma k, where alpha, beta, and gamma are what we call the direction cosines. So sometimes we write it like this, or sometimes we write it like this, where these are simply the x, y, and z components of the unit vector. And that's how we find the moment about any arbitrary axis that goes through the origin. That's how it's done.